Lucha had a, he said he met you when you was 12 or you was very young and he took you to, to the studio. I met Yellow when he was 10 years old, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yellow father passed away. When Yellow father passed, his mama called. This is when I had the My Life Blue, Blue CD out. She called the phone on the, uh, on the CD saying, hey, look, my son just my, my son just lost his father. Him and his brother, they sat over here. You one of his favorite artists, you know what I mean? Can you come by here and uh, meet my son? Now, took I you. met Lucci because he kind of said... Wait, he, that, you he, he kinda that, said the story wrong. Okay, because okay. he, he kinda, said it on here. You heard yeah, it. He, okay, how I met Lucci. Man, I don't want to say it because I might get my name. <laughs> <laughs> you might say it wrong. I'm too. gonna put it like this. No, no, I know how I met him. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man, like you one of them guys, man, that when it come down to Dallas, like everybody know that. You made your mark. You know what I'm saying? You did what you supposed to do. You came up, but then a lot of time when you look at the way to do, you feel like you get the love back from the city. Yeah, but you, I'm gonna see the hate too. It, it's you like, gotta it's, see both. Yeah, you gonna see. It's gonna be both. You can't be successful without that. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, and the bigger you get, the more criticism you gonna get. But I know for a fact they they think about. I don't like. I grew up not giving. A about what people think, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like I've been hated on my whole life. That's why I try to tell people. Like I've been hated on since young. Like like it go back from people. Oh, he think he's something because that's Tony something or, mm -hmm. or football. Like I'm the coldest on the football team, and they got that. Yeah, the, the, the key, oh yeah, he he come to practice late. It's mm -hmm. it's always like some type of just. I've been so I've been dealing with this shit. So like it really don't too much with me. You know what I'm saying? So like when they doing that, shit, like bro, you gotta have tough skin for. This like you know what I'm saying but I definitely get love like, but, but it's up. different though when you got to the stage of the, the, the celebrity stage that you got compared to when you was in the you know back home or playing football or whatever it's a different type of level of hate and love so the first time you experienced that type how did you feel how did you deal with that just look like or is it the same to you it's kind of the same I just be like boy if you believe that you just stupid to hear. Yeah, okay. you yeah. Because the internet, you seen the internet when it, like you say, when it wasn't, when no it internet. wasn't no right. internet, and you rolled into this internet right. thing. How do you feel you done? Because a lot of times I was over here like, man, why this man ain't talking? I was one of them it's, that was like, I was, I always bro, said, like, I tell people, I, tell, like, I grew up under a different type of code, yeah. bro. Like we, like the niggas, I always was the youngest one hanging with the old ones, so I see how they move. Like I always paid attention and just like move how they move, like because. They all run. They were having paper, so you couldn't be no wild dumb around mm -hmm. there. You can be on dumb, shit, but you gotta know when to turn it on, turn it off. Yeah. So any nigga just reckless, they want, they want around them. You get what I'm saying? So I'm knowing like you just don't do certain. Shit, you know what I'm saying? You don't make yourself more hotter than what what the situation gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I never was a big talk, but I never like cared about what people thought either. Like I was real big on I don't give a f what people think about me. Type you shit. can't if you gonna win, right? You, you know can't what I'm think That's about what said. another. Doing exactly. if you gonna win, you gotta I, I focus to on stay, the win. I try to stay out the emotional side of because you if you worry your emotional, side, they gonna feel like they got you. Oh, yeah. I can say this to do that. Oh, he gonna react. You know what I'm saying? I never let them just feel like they can just get the best of me emotionally. You know what I'm saying? So I always just like I say, I really was brought up on we don't give a f if nobody f with us. Wow. You never ever let it get the best of you, even before internet. You know. Internet people can go back and find we, video, but like before behind, internet, just behind closed door, we just be laughing like, bro, if you gotta have, you gotta be a dumb. It's either you just want to believe this shit because you don't like me, or you just slow as hell on just certain on certain shit. That's how I just look at it, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But it's like I really don't be giving a. F I be looking like, I I, I be amazed at what they believe, mm -hmm. or how they really just like in like be into the bull like that. Cause like I be like, bro, y'all is too old, or like y'all really get a hunch out of. This like, I, yeah. I really don't be honest. Well, I'm something. telling you, when I first, but like, well, I'm gonna go back to to Lucci too, because I thought about Lucci had a. He said he met you when you was twelve, or you was very young, and he took you to, to the studio. I met Yellow when he was ten years old, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yellow father passed away. When Yellow father passed, his mama called. This is when I had the My Life Blue Blue CD out. She called the phone on the uh, on the CD saying, "Hey, look." My son just my, my son just lost his father. He and his brother they sat over here. You one of his favorite artists, you know what I mean? Can you come by here and uh meet my son? This is when they stay right on Oats in Mesquite. Yeah. I said, yeah, I come by there, but see at this time I'm young, I'm high headed, I'm not really knowing what it means, so I stand them up. I don't go. Man, she mm. called me back and get on my ass, bro. <laughs> now, took I you. met Lucci because he kind of said shit the, went, he, he, he kind of said the story wrong. Okay, because okay. he, he said kinda, it on here. You heard yeah, it. He, okay, how I met Lucci. Man, I don't want to say it because I might get my name. <laughs> <laughs> you might say it wrong. I'm too. gonna put it like this. No, no, I know how I met him. 
Basically, I just don't want to get a crossfire. I call him a player, so I ain't trying to get him cross. <laughs> Somehow, I got the nigga number at the trash can. Okay. At the trash? How I, old I, were you at that time? I was like, I had to, my daddy had just passed, so I had to be like 12 going on 13. Okay. Okay. I think I was 12 going on 13. Somehow, I get the nigga number. So, I call him. He answered the phone. I just, hey, my name says I'm trying to rap for you. I just spit a rap. He like, man, how old you here? I was like shit. I think I think I was t- I like twelve finna be thirteen. He was like, mm-hmm. You how? Then I had a lot, lot like a light, hot pitch voice at that time. So he was like, Man, you go hard, woo woo. So at that so at this that over time, the phone? Yeah, this over the mm-hmm. phone. I he didn't know who I was at all. So I ain't no cop like I said, I got to know. So boom, he ended up putting up on me one time. First he came to one of my partner gang, cause we I was in uh in a group at that time. He came pulled up on the gang, he came pulled up to the apartments cause I, at that time, I think listen, we had just moved off uh, off, off uh, Oats. It was uh, we had just moved off Oats. He pulled up to the apartments, and they uh, he pulled up in the van, signed like a lot of posters. Came to the game. He was hot then. Yeah. Then boom. After that, we kept talking. He came. You know, he him. I ain't gonna lie. Lucha taught me how to count balls and everything. Wow. Came in my room, listened to some beats or whatever. I, we were rapping this shit. like I was just rapping for him. He like at that time he was kind of. Um, I don't know if he wanted to sign, but he like he just knew like I had some talent. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So he he trying to just give him a little game and shit. He ended up taking him to the studio one time. And shit, I think Lucci kind of, he just started, like he had too much going at that time. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I couldn't fault him for that at all anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, But it still was inspiration. Huh? Yeah, 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 facts. Facts. yeah, facts. facts. Yeah, facts. I had Lucci pitch on the wall and everything. That's hard, man. Yeah, that, that's yeah, the kind yeah. of stuff I like to hear because I know already the history. You know, I'm, on the, I'm a dogmatic Texas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, it, no nigga in Texas can do no wrong, really. I yeah. go out this hole with my chest out, yeah. talking crazy to folks. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. <laughs> so, yeah. at the end of the day, that's what it was when I met Sauce. Like, so I was like, nigga, I go hard. I was in Vegas. Yeah. Like, I go hard for Texas, man. Facts. That's the whole game because I know a lot of times, not just Texas, but the South in general, Louisiana and all that, a lot of times the tapes, the uh, and I talked to uh, Low Diesel about it. Like a lot of times, we they, we get sidestepped because of our demographic. You right, know what I mean? Right. Uh, with the internet, it helped a little bit cushion the blow, but it still didn't. It didn't take the whole situation and change it because a lot of our patriarchs in the '90s didn't get looked at the same right. way as everybody else was getting looked at. Right, right. So we have to create that whole thing, that scheme the of thing. Info. Yeah, I, and so and I, like, I, uh, I rest on that. Like Kim Fo Thug, them that TikTok. Kind of revive them. I ain't gonna there like it. It's a Charlie Boy too. I yeah. seen Ken Fo Thug and that. I was jamming that song in the early two thousand. Like <laughs> long time ago, bro. And that yeah. they didn't put a uh, NLE chop on the remix of that. But that's what we need. Mm-hmm. We need all that to resurface. We need to we need to calculate this thing right. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I was telling my partner this morning about five o'clock. I was like, look, we should do a top five. Uh, uh, albums in the 90s in the 80s in the you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. so from the south perspective yeah. because if we don't then we'll never get these guys will never get seen that way yeah we on boss talk tv shout out to e the reason you see me